ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on Hey Check! Nanonood sa atin ngayon, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang with Season 3 of K-Check. Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they will go. Kaya naman, stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. We have Drake who is a comebacking contestant. He's a, he is a geography student from UP Diliman. He likes to play the ukulele, take photos, and listen to Be Me. He also cooks dishes from different cuisines. Berlin, on the other hand, is an architecture student at the University of Santo Tomas. Her love for the beauty of old buildings and Philippine history are the reasons why she chose to study architecture. She likes drawing and reading novels and manwas. Why don't we ask her now and then later now? <laughs> Elle is a VA speech communication major in UP Diliman. She likes writing, watching anime, hiking, and going on adventures. One food you can never ask her to eat is gummy worms. Dom is an architecture student from UST as well. His hobbies include cooking, watching movies, and drawing. He is an avid P-pop fan and listens to Beanie. Sabi Beanie fans today. Oh. Naman, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Assistant Professor Marila Indriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. Next, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. And finally, Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Kaya naman, get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. In March 2024, Hidden Beach in El Nido made it to the top 10 list of Condé Nast's best beaches of the world. In what province can you find Hidden Beach? Drake. Palawan. Palawan is the correct answer. K-check. Question number two in sports. What score is equivalent to love in tennis? Obviously, walang tennis aficionado sa ating mga contestants. Love is a zero in tennis. Question number three in biology. What do you call the simplest type of living thing? Single cell. Yes, Verlin. Cell po. Cell is incorrect. Let me finish the question. What do you call the simplest type of living thing? Single cell and having no nucleus. Yes, Drake. Bacteria. Single-celled and having no nucleus like Salmonella and Botulinum. Bacteria is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. The DMW prohibited the deployment of Filipino seafarers on ships traveling through the Red Sea. What does DMW stand for? Yes, Drake. Department of Motorways and Waterways. The answer is incorrect. I think it's a relatively new department. It's the Department of Migrant Workers. Question number five. What five-letter English word means to leave home secretly to get married without the permission of your parents? Dom. Elope. Elope is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six in geometry. Answer in terms of pi. In square meters, what is the area of a circle whose radius is three? The answer is nine pi. Question number seven. Astronomers announced in February 2024 
that tiny new moons have been discovered between the orbits of Neptune and which neighboring planet? L. Saturn. Saturn is incorrect. Drake. Uranus. Uranus is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. Fumio Kishida became the prime minister of which country in 2021, Drake? Japan. Japan is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. In what sport did Venus and Serena Williams win more than 100 titles combined, Drake? Tennis. Tennis is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In what continent can you find Cape of Good Hope at its southern end? Drake. Africa. Africa is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What vitamin that is present in guava, orange, and pineapple is also known as ascorbic acid? Drake. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round in April 2024. Electricity began to be rationed in the city of Quito due to the long drought. In what South American country is Quito the capital? Drake. Ecuador. Ecuador is the correct answer. Paycheck. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, Atty. Gabby. Mag-score recap tayo. Mm -hmm. Drake is leading with 80 points, followed by Dom with 10 points, at si Berlin at si L naman. Pwede pa kayong humabol sa Super Bowl rounds. Mm -hmm. And of course, alam na ni Drake to, meron tayong favorite na segment dito sa uh -huh. ating show na kinikilala natin yung mga contestants natin. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Yes, may tawag na kami doon, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> so, Drake, ano-ano ang mga dishes ang naluto mo? At ano ba ang specialty at favorite mo? Um, siguro yung favorite ko po right now is Pad Thai from... Pad Thai? Yes. Mm. Chicken or shrimp or... Uh, chicken po and shrimp. <laughs> Kasi Sample. parang na-addict po sa Thai food recently. Sample. Yan siguro ang Sarap. best sample of all. May dala so, ka ba ngayon? Ay, wala. <laughs> well, kung babalik ka ulit dito, pwede kang magdala. In case uh, our viewers wanted to know, eh, come back in contestant yes. si Drake. And I think he holds the record for the high, highest uh, score. Ever. Ilan nga ba? 300 plus. 380. 380. Oh. No pressure to no the pre other. No pressure din sa'yo, Drake. Uh, no pressure din sa'yo, Drake. But welcome back. So, Verlin naman, this time, alam na natin kung bakit ka nga nag-architecture. Pero saan nga kaya nang galing yung love mo for old structures and Philippine history? Um, kasi po nung bata po ako, gustong gusto ko po nakikita po yung mga post-modern architecture po, lalo na po sa may CCP area po. Tapos dun ko po mas na-appreciate po yung Philippine architecture. Tapos dun ko po naisip na, ah, I love this. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. So yung mga, di ba, brutalist? Oh, brutalist, oh, oh, oh yeah. Yung mga CCP buildings. CCP and, sa Makati, marami and I think the PICC. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So maraming brutalist. salamat, Drake yeah. and Berlin sa mga interesting na mga kwento ninyo. But syempre, mamaya babalikan natin si L at si Dom. Pero ngayon, paghandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng Key Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, Drake leads with 80 points, Dom with 10 points, Verlin and L with 0 points. So, attorney, tuloy na natin ang ating second part ng K. Chica. Ito naman si L. Naayaw sa gummy worms. Bakit? Oh, Gusto ko po man din ang gummy worms. The sour kind. <laughs> oh, kasi feeling ko po, totoo po silang worms. At ayoko po kasi ng mga bulate. Nandidiri po ko. So kahit nasa site lang po ng mga gummy worms, ayoko po. Super nandidiri po ko. So padadala natin siya ng gummy worms na nasa crushed Oreo, di ba? So mukha talaga, mukha talaga siyang yung ayaw. Ang sarap yun, di ba? Ang sarap ng sour. Correct. Ayaw, wala kang plano na harapin yung fear na yun. Wala. Nandidiri okay. lang naman po. Hindi naman po fear. Hindi siya fear. Okay. Nandidiri, Nandidiri lang. lang. Okay. Kaiba nga naman. Okay. Si Dom naman, habang ang karamihan sa mga kabataan ay nahuhumaling sa K-pop at J-pop, ikaw naman ay makapipap at makabini. Bakit? Kaya mo bang in-name ang mga members ng mga paborito mong mga P-pop groups? 
Because uh, Bini is an eight-member girl group, and it composed of si Joanna, si si Joanna, si Colette, si Maloy, si Shina, si Stacy, si uh, Shina. Ay, tapo ko si si Shina. Tapos si Joa. Uh, uh, Hala, na ano ko sila. Kaya sila. <laughs> Anyone can see. <laughs> Actually, so dapat yan sa isa sa mga tanong natin later. So, kinorek na nila at tinanggal na yan sa mga questions. Si Drik, kinapak-check niya eh. Check. Memorize mo rin ba, Drik? Si Aya. Si uh, Aya. 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 Pero mag- mahirap pala, <laughs> mahirap pala si pag si Drake ang kausap mo kasi chine-check niya ang oh, mga sagot palagi. <laughs> so in any case, it's now time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure to strategize because in this round, correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 oh. points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. Airplane flight recorders or black boxes are neither box-shaped nor black. What bright color are they painted to increase visibility? Berlin. Red. Red is wrong. Anyone can see it. So, white. White is wrong. L. Green is wrong. Drake. Orange. Orange is correct. K check. Question number two. After becoming the second highest rated series in Korean cable television history, which drama series also became one of Netflix's top shows for April 2024? Berlin. Queen of Tears. Queen of Tears is correct. K check. Question number three. In music, which German is the greatest composer of the Baroque period who became famous for his Brandenburg Concerto? and the well-tempered clavier. The correct answer is Johann Sebastian Bach. Question number four. Poutine is an unusual combination of french fries, cheese curds, and gravy. What North American country is famous for poutine? Drake. Canada. Canada is correct. Great check. Question number five. In football, who is the only player on the field that is allowed to touch the ball with his hands? Berlin. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper or goalie is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What term, first used by botanist Arthur Tansley, refers to a community of organisms and interaction with their physical environment? Tom. Ecosystem. Ecosystem is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. How many inches are there in one and a half feet? Drake. 18. 18 is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which Greek philosopher is a student of Socrates? Berlin. Plato. Let me proceed. Became famous for teaching Aristotle and writing the Republic. He said Plato. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the color of the highest ranking belt in Taekwondo, which also has Berlin? Black. Let me proceed, which also has 10 levels. You said black, that is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. A record 13 billion pesos worth of methamphetamine hydrochloride was seized in Batangas on April 2024. What is methamphetamine hydrochloride more popularly known? Berlin. Shabu. Shabu is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Which singer who underwent surgery to rebuild his vocal cords in 2022 is famous for providing the vocals for the hit songs Living on a Prayer and It's My Life? Tom. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. Astronomers have discovered baby stars sneezing or releasing magnetic flux in what constellation which is also known as the bull. Drake. Taurus. Taurus is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. Tingnan nga natin how you guys did. So at this point, Drake leads with 160 points, Verlin with 90, Dom with 40, and L with negative 10 points. Pero siyempre, hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng... Okay, check.
Welcome back to K-Check. At this point nga ay 160 points si Drake in first place. Followed by Verlin with 90, Dom with 40, and L with a bit of catching up to do. Pero, meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Tama, Torni. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. So, what are we waiting for? Let's, Let's begin! begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marla. Thank you. Biology. What term refers to the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy? Drake. Photosynthesis. Let me continue. Producing glucose and oxygen. A. Cellular respiration. B. Fermentation. C. Photosynthesis D. Transpiration E. Germination The correct answer is C. Photosynthesis K. Check Thank you. Next question, Prof. Sophia Thank you In painting, what is the use of strong contrasts between light and dark called? A. Sfumato B. Grayscale C. Chiaroscuro D. Pointillism E. Intaglio Berlin A. Sfumato Mali po Dom Intaglio Mali pa rin Drake C. Chiaroscuro Yes, you are correct. Um, Chiaroscuro comes from the Italian and it's a combination of the word chiaro for clear or light and the scuro, which means dark. No? So, chiaro scuro is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Okay, Asian history. What imperial pa palace complex was commissioned in 1406 by the Yongle Emperor? Okay. Forbidden Palace. Let me continue. Of the Ming Dynasty, the choices are. A. Angkor Wat B. Taj Mahal C. Forbidden City D. Temple of Heaven E. Potala Palace This imperial palace can be found at the heart of Beijing and was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. The correct answer is C. Forbidden City. Okay, check. Now we proceed to our second set of questions, Prof. Marla. In molecular biology, which of the following is responsible for reading the genetic code and bringing the corresponding amino acids to the ribosome during translation? A. mRNA B. rRNA C. tRNA D. snRNA E. miRNA Really? A. mRNA Malik. B R R N A. Malik. Dog. T R N A. The correct answer is C T R N A, which stands for transfer RNA. K check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. Um, what is the Ilocano weaving tradition called? A. Tinalak B. Pinya Drake Abel or Abel um, Let me continue C. Calado D. Inabel E. Ikat um, Inabel is correct no? or uh, Abel Iloko okay, okay, check Thank you Next question, Prof. Lu Okay, economic history naman which economist is the founder of the Grameen Bank, an institution that provides microcredit? The choices are A. Eleanor Ostrom, B. John Hatch, C. Jacques Attali, D. Muhammad Yunus, E. Adam Smith. 
D. Muhammad Yunus. This Bangladeshi economist founded the Grameen Bank, an institution that provides microcredit. It is uh, small loans to poor people possessing no collateral to help its clients establish credit worthiness and financial self-sufficiency. In 2006, Yunus and Grameen received the Nobel Prize for K-Check. Okay. So, Attorney, that's it for the first half. Let's do that's a point right. recap. And I think Drake wants to beat his own record. <laughs> He's now leading with 295 points. Verlin follows with 60 points, Dom with 55, and L with a bit of catching up to do. So we still have 180 points yes. at stake. And now we're off to the second set with 180 points at stake. Kaya pwede pang humabo lahat. Simulan na natin yan, Prof. Marla. What term refers to the bending of light as it passes from... L. Refraction. Let me continue. As it passes from one medium to another, such as from air to water. A. Reflection. B. Deflection. C. Refraction. D. Diffraction. E. Absorption. The correct answer is C. Refraction. K. Check. Next question, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. To get a tattoo by Wang Od Ogai, the oldest living Mamba Batok. Where do you have to go? Drake. Um, Buscalan Kalinga. Let me continue. A. Takloban Leyte. B. Lake Cebu, South Cotabato. C. Kalinga, Mountain Province. D. Bukidnon, Mindanao. E. Paete, Laguna. It's in Kalinga, Mountain Province, Buscalan. Okay, check. Thank you. At sumampan na si Drake. So, 325 points na si Drake. Yes, let's see. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay, cultural history naman. What is the most popular board game in the world? Drake. Chess. The choices are A. Scrabble B. Monopoly C. Checkers D. Chess E. Bakgamon, sorry, mali ang iyong sagot. Checkers. That's also incorrect, sorry. Monopoly. The earliest known version, known as the Landlord's Game, was designed by Elizabeth Maggie the first, and first patented in 1904. Monopoly, made by Hasbro, is the best-selling board game of all time, with over 275 million copies sold. The correct answer is B, Monopoly, K-Check. And now we're off to the last set of questions. 90 points left. Prof. Marla. Okay. Which of the following is a source of genetic variation in a population? A, natural selection. B, genetic drift. C, mutation. D, gene flow. E, all of the above. The correct answer is E, all of the above. K, check. Nakatakot yung tingin ko for it. Tingin, are you sure? <laughs> Thank you. Baka Prof. wala nang mag-enroll sa klase ni Prof. Marla. <laughs> Prof. Sophie. Okay, um, the Pintados of the Visayan, Visayas region were so called by the Spaniards because of their A, skill in painting, B. Tattoos. Drake. Tattoos. Let me continue. C. Makeup. D. Colorful clothing. E. Piñatas. Um, Drake got the correct answer. Tattoos. Okay, check. Thank you. Last question for this round, Prof. Lu. Okay, religious history. Ito alam dapat nating lahat, ha? Who was the first Filipino saint canonized in Arabia? ang ating kawawang buzzer system, Drake. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Let me continue. Uh, uh, first Filipino saint canonized in 1987. The choices are Pedro Calungsod, B. Lorenzo Ruiz, C. Diego Luis de San Vitores, 
D. Jose Maria de Manila, E. Justo Takayama Ukon. The correct answer, of course, is B. Lorenzo Ruiz. K-check. And that's it for our K-check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Sa pa rin po, congratulations to Drake, our K-check daily winner with a final score of 370 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for his spot in our semifinals. Last season, 380. Oh, I thought he will beat his own record. <laughs> and, be, and I thought, diba, when we began the last round, he had 310 points. And if he answered all three, he would have created a new record of reaching the 400 mark, no? But we have panalo ka pa rin. Panalo ka pa rin. So, maraming salamat, of course, to Drake, who is our winner for the day. And also to Verlin, L and Dom for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marla, Sophia, and Lou. So, this has been Attorney Gabby Consumption. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.